Hey everybody, it's Stephanie Old World Gamer, and it looks like I'm going to go and check out this peninsula and waste a move, more than like, oh, maybe not. And, uh, welcome back to Sid Meier's Civilizations, and, um, for the Super Nintendo. And I am playing as the English, the, I guess the British, uh, uh army, or group, or whatever you want to call us. Uh, Civilization, maybe? And, uh, yeah, uh, in the last episode we took out Egypt. And took over uh, their main city, Thebes, Thebes, whatever you want to call it. And um, it was a very significant city, actually. They should have defended it better, but... Uh, it looks like we have new science. We have discovered trade. That's good. Now we should start making money. Okay, so next... Hmm. How about we go for stirrup? Okay, so there's people everywhere here, apparently. Apparently the Indians have a lot of troops here. Why? I don't understand. There's a catapult there. I'm getting scared. Uh, hopefully they'll let me traverse that hill in the next turn. Which will take two moves instead of one. And everyone's moving away. Thank you. I can actually have a look around. Please leave me some little houses to get stuff. That's probably what happened. They probably got all the little houses and stuff and I got screwed over. I should have explored more. For some reason I thought explored was the wrong word I, I was looking for, but it's not. Oh, come on! Oh. And that's the worst part. I won't leave, like, one patch there because, with my luck, that one patch would be the one that, like... Oh, they're done here again there. That one patch would probably be the one that would have, like, I guess, I don't know, uh, what I'd need. Like, I'd find the one house there that I'm looking for and I'm like, ah, oh, the whole time it's just there. Because you don't even get any, like, um... Oh my god, so many people are... Ah! Please don't... Okay, thank you. Move away from me. What am I doing to you? Nothing at all. Straight up. Oh, again, I shouldn't... And I... I wanted to move there, and I don't know why I keep moving around it instead of to it. Yeah, get away from me! <laughs> why would you do that? That was so pointless. That, look, look at that. What are you doing? Oh, are you serious right now? They're gonna, uh, are the Babylonians going to attack? Because if they do, I will kill them. Yeah, you better run away, diplomat bastard. <laughs> okay, so far so good. Whoa. Okay, there's a bit of water there. And we're going to turn that forest into ground. Uh, I'm not sure if you can get, like, hunting there. Obviously, the ones with the moose or deer or carob, whatever you want to call it, in them. Whoa, they have a huge force out. Man, I'm just exploring. I don't know about you guys, but I'm just exploring here. I mean, jeez. Are you serious right now? I found another coast. Jeez. Oh, here we go. Tombi wrote, Best rank of the most powerful, India, followed by Babylon, France, China, Britain, Rome. So it's maybe Rome I should go after before anybody else. The Aztecs are fairly new, I would imagine, but I did not think that China had as many units as they do. Um, that makes me want to build more units once I'm done. There we go, library. So, let's put that library in there. The times are starting to look really nice. Uh, yes, we want to change that, too. Uh, who has the best defense? The Phalanx still with the two defense, so... 
we're gonna just make one of those and keep them in there, plop them in there, you know, that kind of thing. I'm gonna try and get over there faster if I can. It's gonna take me one full turn just to get out of this patch regardless, so. Dude, Babylonians are really chasing me down here. I, I'm not sure how I like this. Aha! My little house! I should go after that diplomat, actually. Hmm. I'm still deciding whether or not I want to go after that diplomat. I mean, I, technically I could. You get away from that little house. That's mine. No one can get it now. Only me. Ha ha! Barracks made in New York. Okay, that's good. We're gonna change that to a phalanx again. And like I said, I'm reinforcing all of my cities. It'd be funny if this was barbarians. Bandits! Oh my god, so funny. Please attack the Babylonians. That'd be hilarious. Just don't attack my character. That would be great. Oh, he's still trapped there. I'm gonna see if I can't run over and get catch him there in a couple turns. Because if he stays there, then I'll be able to capture him and get an extra hundred gold out of it. I mean, we have a lot of money. We, we, we do have a lot of money right now. And I think it has to do with the government that we're running. Oh, whoa! They killed the bandits! So I don't know what's gonna happen here. Oh! Okay, I guess I know what's gonna happen there. I'm going to have a veteran militia group <laughs> take care of things for me. Okay, now we're going to irrigate this plot of land. Oh, I hate when I get a frayed nail. You just feel it all the time, like when I'm pressing the button and stuff. Yeah. Oh, thanks! Thanks for boxing me in, guys! Thanks! Why couldn't you stay down there, Calvary? <clears throat> now I'm stuck! I can't do anything now! Temple's made in Thebes. It's a good place to have it. Okay, let's put in another Phalanx unit. And, of course! Oh, you can't move anywhere because there's stuff there already next to you! It's, okay, fine, sorry. Adjacent units. No order. Go away. That means move. Okay, we got our extra phalanx unit there in Birmingham. So let's see what else we got. Uh, let's put in an aqueduct. Why not? Um, that's it. And now we're gonna have some decent defense. Three units defending a city. Now that's some decent defense. And of course, the diplomat is gone now. So it made me waste a whole turn. Actually, two turns, really. So that's kind of a piss off, but that's the way this game usually goes. It really likes to do that sometimes. Oh, really? No! Move! Thank you! Oh, thank God. I can actually move out of there now. Uh, I'm so glad that I turned off that end of turn thing because that was getting annoying just having to press that all the time. I mean, it does give you the extra option of being able to press something, but still, like, most times it's unnecessary. Can you guys please crawl, crawl out of my ass? Whoa, we, we've advanced in, in, into a new era, I guess, but we've just built a great library in Dover. I should have checked and see what year it was, but <laughs> I didn't really, I guess, give it time. So let's make a phalanx in here, because we need more defense there. We always need more defense for our cities. Now, if they would back off, like I said, I would definitely just... Eh. I, I'd just be able to go over there to the east and check out some more of that stuff. And see what's over there because I know that they have a lot more cities there. They have to. The music is so much more intense in this era for some reason. I don't know why. 
but it is. Ugh. Okay, well we know it's more coastline, that's, I guess, quote unquote good. <laughs> But yeah, it seems like they've built some mining operations there as well for us, uh, the Egyptians, before they were uh, annihilated. Yeah, I know. Uh, see, it sounds so mean when I say it like that. And don't worry, I have nothing against people from Egypt or anything like that. I'm not one of those types of people. So, uh, no, no racism or anything like that. <laughs> and if you feel that way, please do not share, because that's not cool. Um, I guess we'll put in an aqueduct. Making all of our cities grow much larger, or at least as large as we can. And you can defend good, sir, along with the chariot and the other phalanx unit. So, me and the militia. That sounds weird to say that. It sounds, I don't know, it sounds like it'd be a song title. Me and the militia. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, uh... The militia and the cavalry will be able to go over to the east now, hopefully. If they just don't screw off. And move over and down over thing. See, they were pillaging the whole land here and, uh... I have a feeling that there's, like, right up there where that one, like, little spot of water, like that little pond or lake, whatever you want to call it, I'm guaranteeing that there's a really nice spot up there where, like, you could build a really good city next to that coal. I don't know why, but I just thought of Minecraft. Probably because I said coal. So that was pretty quick to make, um... It's pretty quick to make roads there, so I'm going to start irrigating and helping out uh, some of these towns close to me. Maybe start building that road I was talking about there to the north. That'll probably be my next task for myself. I do not like that the Babylons are following me. I really don't like that at all. You can take your Babylons and just go. There we go. We go over this way. Ah, so it seems like we found another coast. <laughs> do -do 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 -do. Okay, what are we making next? How about a marketplace where people can trade? I should have probably put in a library first, but whatever. Um, unit. Defend. And you'll soon start having some irrigated land, so... Prepare to enjoy that as well. Thebs and the people of Thebs. That's right, your new king will... or empress, apparently. Uh, is going to bring you, uh, I guess, farmland and fun times. Yay! I, okay, I understand. I just, I didn't know that there was one that, like, it was in the dark region. How am I supposed to just know that? Yeah! There's the Romans. Let's see. Change that now. And I think in London I might start making some boats and put a unit or two in them and just drop them off along uh, different islands and stuff because we definitely need to start expanding outwards and looking for more places. And you, sir, can defend. Almost all my cities have full defense right now, so that's good. Um, and our last road to link up the cities. We have over a million people in Britain. Uh, are the Babylonians going to follow me? Of course they are. You guys are idiots. You truly, truly are. Watch, the catapult's right there. Yeah, of course it is. Well, you know what? You know where I can move this, this, this turn? Nowhere. I cannot move. So, Babylonians, you caught up to my militia. What do you want? Because I, there's nothing I can do right now, so... Either go away or leave me alone. Watch now, now I'm gonna get my cavalry pinned or something, right? I mean, if we can explore most of the island and find that there's, you know... We're the only ones here on this island, then fine. 
That means it's just to build enough units to go over and kill everyone and everything at once, so... Oh, there we go. There's some irrigated land there, apparently. And there's the Babylonians. Okay. <sighs> well, I guess I should probably end the episode here. Uh, I think we, we didn't accomplish too much. We got to explore a lot of the map, which is quite helpful, I must say. But, uh, oh, Emissary from India wishes to speak with me. Uh, I will leave that for the next episode. If you are enjoying, please leave some comments and a like down below. That would help me out tremendously. And uh, as always, thank you all for watching. I'm Stephanie Old World Gamer, and I will see you all soon for a new episode. See ya!